Studio Academy. Today we are going to look on how to replicate such layout and also we will use new features available to Visual Composer starting from version 4.9, which are content position within columns and also column position within rows. So if we look at this layout, we can see that we have a introduction block at the top side and three columns with the content on the bottom side. I will start with the blank page as usual and let's start by adding a row. As you can see from an example, we have a row with two columns. On the left side we have an image and on the right side content with button. Okay, so we have a blank row. Let's divide it into two columns. Now we are going to create this right side and I will start by adding background color. I have prepared colors which I need already here in design. So let's open column parameter window and navigate to design options. In design options, let's set our column background. So it's this pink color now. Next, we will add custom heading element. Just copy paste text here. I think we can switch it to h1 tag as it's the main title. Text alignment is left. Font size could be something around 50. Text color is white. And we will use Railway font. Okay, travel marker. Great. Next, we are going to add this paragraph. I'm just going again, copy paste it. So let's add text block. Copy paste our text here. Select it and change text color. This should fit in nicely. Okay, great. And now we are going to add this open now button. Let's select our button element. Change the title to open now. We want to use flat button. Round style. And mullet vine. Color. Okay, so you will probably want to insert link here as well, so I'm not going to do this in this tutorial. Okay, now we have to align paddings within column. As you can see, there is some padding on the left side and also bigger padding on the right. Let's navigate to column parameter window again, design options and CSS box. Let's set padding here 50. Here's something around 100. Okay, looks good. Next, what we want to do is add this image, but I'm going to add it as a column background. So let's open parameter window of this column. Let's go to design options. Select our image it's a gif animation as you already saw it so yes i'm going to choose cover and here you go but what we what we see that uh, this column is significantly smaller and now we are going to use the new feature available starting from version 4.9 which is equal height columns you have to check this box and both of your columns are now equal height which is great so this block looks almost finished yet we have to add a bit of padding at, at the top so I don't have to add the padding for both columns so they will adapt 
Oh, I'm just going to add padding at the top and bottom for one column and the second column changes as well. So now we have this right image with the text. Okay, oh, another thing what I wanted to add, I actually want to add some padding to this column as well because once you will use your site on the mobile device you want this image to appear so you don't have to you, you don't want this column to be small okay so I'm going to save it don't forget frequently save your work you can get some connection problems or something so it's better to stay safe okay and now we're going to add those three columns so I'm just going to add a row as you can see the row starting from Visual Composer 4.9 have no margin at the top and no margin at the bottom so it's a bit easier for now create a section type layout but I will use margin here so I will add sorry margin I will add margin here yes now as we have three columns I'm going to divide this row into three columns and let's start by creating our first column again I'm going to just copy paste this custom heading element I'm going to paste my text I probably want this heading to be h2 tag left and text color to be something around 42, 42, 42. okay but it's really too big for me okay now now it's better next one okay I'm just going to duplicate this text I'm going to add description paragraph I'm going to add this color here. so just copy paste the paragraph let's set it some gray color okay great and duplicate button and for button we have a different color this one so I'm going to open button element let's change text on the button and now as we don't have this specific color in our drop drop down of colors we can switch to custom color and here we can specify background color and text color okay looking good now as we as those both columns have really similar content we are just going to duplicate the elements and place them here okay so let's change it to this content as well it's a bit faster for me as I'm going to just copy paste it but I think you have already prepared your content as well so okay. change the text color here and read more yes. let's change the read more okay so now I'm going to add background color to those two columns let's do it something like this okay maybe a bit lighter yes yes that's better and also the same color for this column okay now we have those columns colored and if we look here we can see that there is also padding on the left and right side so 
let's go into the columns design options and add padding 35 from left and right side okay we can add maybe 50 yes. great so we are going to do the same for this column And I will actually add the same padding for this column as well. Okay, but now we have to create this third column. First I'm going to add background. I will use this dark color. So let's go to column options, design options and set background. Okay. Now we got our background. Next one, we will add image. Let's use single image element. Okay, so navigate to media library, choose image, and I want it to be full size, as I usually like to prepare images in their actual size. Set alignment to center, okay. And yes, that's it. So here you go, this image. Now just going to duplicate text here as well. Okay. Just copy paste text, center it, and okay, we want some light color. the text and make it a bit smaller right so looks almost the same let's just set it to regular okay so okay, save now we have three columns and content but they are not equal height as we already saw it and there are gaps so again, we are going to use feature of Visual Composer 4.9 and set all columns to be equal height. Great. But now we have to introduce the gap. So for the gap, there is a gap control in row element and we are going to set it to pixels. So. Here you go, within less than 10 minutes, I think we've managed to create such a nice layout, which we can use for our WordPress site or our client's WordPress site. Thank you and good luck with your own 